through your transforming power, bring your people and your church together to resist the sin of racism, to resist evil and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves. Open hearts and minds of all people, Lord God, to respond to the cries of those who have been wounded by racial injustice. We pray for the families and friends of Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. And God, we also pray that your Holy Spirit will make us one. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to challenge those of us in our church family who are white to really begin to listen to our uh, brothers and sisters of color. I really think that this is a time when we are being called upon to listen and to act in a way that is different. I believe that this is a time when we're being called upon to be part of the answer and not part of the problem. I, I can't get that image out of my mind, that disturbing image of George Floyd on the ground crying out, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And, and, and you juxtapose that with the, the Holy Spirit of God breathing life into the church to tear down the barriers that separate us from racial barriers, from cultural barriers, from national barriers, that we might find our unity in Christ. And we can't do that if we don't learn to listen to each other. And as we go into the unknown future that God has for us, I'm more and more convinced that the church is called to be an anti-racist, uh, anti-racist force in the world, not just neutral on the issue of race, but that we are actively anti-racist. We are advocates against racism. You know, we cannot live in chaos. You know that. We must live in community together. And community begins from a place of mutual trust and equality and justice for all. My brothers and sisters, I don't know where you find yourself this day, but I'm telling you, we are a nation, we are a people, we are a church in need of a healing spirit. A spirit-filled church, I believe, is a church that is at least willing to courageously step up beside those who are suffering and say, how can we help? What would you like to say to us? How can we be helpful to you? What do you need us to do for you? That the demons cannot swim in our lives anymore. Therefore, it's time for you and I to drown some demons right now. We must drown the demons of pride, drown the demons of unforgiveness, drown the demons of greed, drown the demons of destructive habits, drown the demons of racism and injustice in Minneapolis so that black men can breathe. Drown them all. Drown them in our confidence. Drown them in our faith. Drown them in the word of God. Drown them by registering to vote and then drown them by going out to vote.